Hi guys and welcome to this, my video on solving word problems. Oh, are you already shuddering? Because I certainly am and it's got nothing to do with the cold. It's got everything to do with worded problems. We hate worded problems, don't we? Well, sadly guys, maths is all full of worded problems and ultimately you're going to have to get used to doing them, um, particularly in this section of the course. Now, my name's Darren from Maths Guru. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. If you are indeed watching the video, uh, if not, this is going to seem really weird. Um, basically, can I ask a massive favour? Can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Um, I do these sitting in a room talking to myself other than the dog who's lying fast asleep and I'm a little bit jealous. Um, by subscribing, it just lets me know that people out there are watching and actually it's worth sitting in this room talking to myself going slowly mad. So if you can subscribe, that will be great. And if you didn't already know about it, there is mathsguru.com. All of the videos for year 9, 10, 11, 12 and more are on there with downloadable notes. All the stuff I'm writing on behind me will be downloadable, the videos, exam questions and so, so much more. So if you head over there, absolutely free to sign up. I think I said that before. Now, what are we actually going to do this lesson? Well, I would normally read through it, but ultimately we're going to solve word problems and look at all the wonderful things that we can do with them. Now, basically, uh, what have we done so far? We've done a lot, yeah? Um, and I've actually said there, it's an important subject of the area. If you don't understand the work, please make sure you come and see me and let me know. Now, obviously, that was <laughs> that was for my own students. It would be a bit weird if I was suddenly having a coffee in Melbourne Central and uh, suddenly you just turn up in front of me with your maths books. Although, actually, that would be quite nice. Um, yeah, if you see me around, say hi, and um, obviously ask me any math questions you have, um, and I'll do what I can. But the reason people struggle with worded problems is really the English. And what they tend to find is the people who have better English skills tend to do better in maths. That's not to say that if you struggle with English now, you turn around and say, yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, basically, it's something you can learn. Um, but uh, I think the trick to doing these is the more you do, the more you can see through the tricks. I can't teach you every worded question. Um, unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to structure those around the ones that Cambridge have very kindly let me use. And again, thank you, Cambridge. You guys rock for letting me use your examples. Thank you so much. Right. So let's have a look at some examples here. And again, the wording is what you've got to learn. You almost need like a glossary or a summary book to write these things down. But less than, what does less than mean? Well, in my life, that means subtract, take away, yes? Twice a number. What does twice a number mean? Well, twice means two. So it's got something to do with the two times. Now, the trick in all these questions is when we say a number, You've got to choose an appropriate variable to stand for. And then I suppose in maths, it makes perfect sense, really, to use the letter X. So whenever we see the number uh, or the words a number, let's have a look at using X as the variable. So let's have a look here. One less than twice a number. One less than twice a number. So if I was to decode the maths there or even the English, I'd obviously got to do two times the number first. So twice the number is 2X. And then I want one less than it, so I'm going to take away one, is, and again in maths, is is generally equals, equals 11, there we go. Now, again, I don't want to give hard and fast rules, but what actually seemed to work here was doing it backwards, a number twice than one less. Hmm, reading it backwards doesn't work quite so low, but what we did was, we did twice a number, then we did one less than, and then we put it equal to 11. So let's see, does that work with the next one? So let's rub out what I've got here. Let's do a highlight of my next question and see what happens. Right, Ben earns X dollars per week. $100 plus two weeks earnings gives $2,200. Now again, gives, that's just tricky. That's another way of saying equals. So we know here that we got equals. Two two zero zero. Okay, but what is it here? Ben earns X dollars per week. A hundred dollars plus. Well, that's nice. We know what plus means in maths. So we're going to do a hundred dollars plus two weeks earnings. Well, Ben earns X dollars per week, and I've got two weeks of those, so that's going to be two X. And again, doesn't matter that it's the wrong way around. We can look at moving that around in a moment to two X plus hundred equals, but that sort of works for me. Okay, so let's look at the next one.